With narrative reporting, you can create comprehensive, dynamic, and integrated reports by inserting and formatting report objects, such as charts and grids, to present data from Cloud EPM, Cloud ERP, and S-based Cloud data sources. You can create a report from the library, the reports panel, or the home page. You edit reports in a report designer, an easy drag and drop interface by creating, positioning, and customizing report objects. Grids are tables and reports that contain data from supported data sources. You can add a grid to your report, define its dimension layout, select members, and add formatting. Use charts to display a graphical representation of report data from a data model or an existing grid in a report. You can use a wide variety of chart types to illustrate trends or tendencies or to highlight differences and improvements. You can add images to the header, footer, or body of a report. Text boxes can contain static text and text functions, such as labels, descriptions, the run date, and so forth. Like other report objects, you can move, resize, or reposition the area containing the text. You can enter notes in note boxes where the report designer has inserted a note template. Inline grid entry of notes provides the ability to enter and display point of view based commentary directly in a grid via a note column or row. Use the notes text function with a note text box for interactive reporting and aggregation of notes. If the text box is data source enabled, you can select from a dimension's secondary point of view to display the children, descendants, or bottom level members based on the main point of view selection. You can create shared reports that designate all objects in the report as shared objects. Shared objects can be grids, charts, text boxes, and images. You can insert shared objects into other reports, providing a single point of maintenance for the inserted objects within the shared report. You can preview grids and charts while editing them, and report designers and end users can preview the final report in HTML, Excel, or PDF. You also have the options to download your report as PDF or Excel, or to download a grid as Excel ad hoc in Oracle Smart View for Office, where you can then perform available ad hoc operations. When designing your reports, you can use conditional formatting to apply formatting to cells in a grid if the values in those cells meet predefined conditions. Use conditional suppression to suppress rows or columns in a grid based on specified attributes or values. Use conditional text to generate dynamic text based on predefined conditions and a combination of static text and text functions. You can apply zooming on parent members in grids to allow you to expand a row or column parent member to see its children, descendants, or bottom level members when you preview a report in HTML. Drill to content allows you to set up content links on grid cells, rows, columns, and member heading cells to enable end users to drill to reports, third-party documents in the narrative reporting library, and custom URL links. Grouping provides the ability to calculate, group, and format nested dimensions in a row or column data segment. You can create books to group together one or more reports, books, and other documents to generate a single PDF or Excel output. Bursting provides the ability to run a report or book 
for more than one member of a single dimension for one data source, generating a PDF or Excel output file for each member. You can email the generated output files to a recipient list or publish the PDF and Excel output files to the Narrative Reporting Library. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.